Karishma, what are we expecting when it comes to the slab rates? Uh, what kind of restructuring uh, are, are we looking at in the meeting? Well, right, the group of ministers that's uh, headed by Karnataka CM will be holding a very important meeting along with the Fitment Committee on Saturday, that is 27th. Uh, and the agenda and significance of this meeting is going to be reviewing the current tax slab rates and also along with that special rates, rationalization measures. In fact, uh, sources from finance ministry tell us that uh, government is very uh, keen and looking to merge two tax slab rates uh, and in, uh, that they're doing that in order to bring in a totality of three tax slab rates, which currently is at four. Not just this, uh, in fact, uh, recently Revenue Secretary on record uh, to a media agency also told that uh, this is something that they will be looking in because the GST revenues are also doing well. It is on Saturday that the report will be prepared and post this official meeting, this report will be sent to the GST Council, which is uh, likely to take place in December. We have MS Mani, Senior Director at Deloitte, joining us on this. Uh, let's go across to him and get a perspective on really uh, why some of these slabs are being re-looked at, what the possible changes are and the likely implications as well. Mr. Mani? Okay, so I think at the outset we need to understand that the rates that we have in GST for various products, we have three product category rates today, which are 5, 12, 18 and 28, which is only for certain products. Sure. So there is also an exceptional rate, which is 3%, which is in respect of precious metal and gold. So if we look overall, we have five different rate slabs, with three being the main. These rate slabs were decided when GST was introduced. Subsequently, various products were fitted into each of these slabs. What we have to bear in mind is that today the average rates which were being paid prior to GST have significantly come down. In addition to that, what has also happened is that certain products which are in the 18% slab, such as most of the FMCG products, majority of the consumer durables, etc., are products which to some extent may not necessarily be price elastic. Consequently, when we look at both of these issues together, the need for the government to go ahead and broaden the tax base and increase its collections, mm. and there is a need to rationalize the tax slabs, there is a discussion possibly going on in respect of increasing some of the GST rates. At this stage, we have to bear in mind that increasing the GST rates is not certainly a desirable option or a good option. And that is something which is going to cause a lot of distress to various impacted businesses. The better option could possibly be to rationalize the slabs and instead of having the five rates of 3, 5, 12, 18 and 28, bring it to three slabs. See if some of the slabs can be merged. That will make GST simpler and easier to handle as well. Absolutely, uh, Mr. Mani, and we all know the kind of, uh, uh, you know, the, the kind of uh, reaction the industry usually has uh, to any changes in these tax slabs, uh, you know, even, even from the advent of GST. Which are some of the segments you feel will be most impacted? Uh, you know, you talked about some of those segments uh, not being price elastic. Uh, share with us where you feel, uh, you know, we'll see the maximum resistance really coming in or the maximum impact. Uh I don't think the GOM has yet decided in terms of which products are going to be impacted and if so, what is the quantum of that impact. Mm. But at a broad level, when as a country, as a society, we are moving out of the pandemic, there is already a wholesale, wholesale price inflation which has started rearing its head. Possibly, therefore, at every segment, whether it is FMCG, whether it is durables, whether it is furniture projects, whether it is uh, branded food grains like branded rice and branded wheat and branded atta, all of these are products where the manufacturers will have a difficult time passing it on to the customer. Because bear in mind that since GST is an indirect tax, eventually it is the customer who ends up paying the tax. The manufacturer, the trader and the retailer are merely the intermediaries from the producer to the consumer. And at each level, therefore, there will be a markup and the price to the customer will increase. Now, since we are all getting out of a very difficult situation, which no one has faced before, 
this may not be an opportune time for doing any tinkering with the tax rates. Sure, Mr. Manit, point taken. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, a question does arise uh, on the timing and perhaps uh, whether or not uh, you know it, it's really going to have uh, the kind of uh, intended impact going forward. Thanks so much for joining us.